Hey guys, this is Winged Engineer here. How are you guys doing? So you just finished your 12th or graduation and you have decided to become a pilot. Now the question arises in mind whether I should do CPL on my own or I go ahead and do cadet pilot program. And there will be many other questions in your mind like how much is the price difference? Which FTO should I choose? Is there a job guarantee? We are here to discuss exactly that. Stay tuned. I will not only be fairly comparing this two, but I will also give you my personal tips. Now, before we compare these two options, let's know exactly what are those. In conventional method, you are on your own. You have to take decision about which country or which flight school you are going to do your flying from. And once your training is done, you are on your own to search for a job. While cadet pilot program is specifically designed for individuals with no previous flying experience who would like to start on a career as a pilot, so all your training is taken care of entirely by the airline or the flight training organization. So once your training is done successfully, one would get inducted into the airline and fly for the airline. Many airlines like Indigo, AirAsia, SpiceJet offer cadet pilot programs. Jet Airways used to offer one too. Choose the airline wisely because the potential job offer is only valid as long as the airline is operational. I get questions from many that Bro, should I join cadet pilot program? Which airline should I choose for cadet pilot program? Well, I have to break this to you that it's not up to you whether you join or not. Even if you have all the means like money for cadet pilot program, it's the airline or FTO that decides whether you will be selected or not. What you can do is you can apply and do your best to get selected. I know my subscribers are smart so I would like to assume that you will get selected. Let's talk about the pros of choosing cadet pilot program. Potential job offer usually known as job assurance. Once you clear the selection process, the airline gives you a letter of intent. Usually the cadet FTOs are trustworthy and great flight school to do your training from, like l 3 Airis. All your training would be taken care of by the airline FTO. It's definitely a guided path to follow. Your training will be monitored by the airline. There is no chance of being scammed by the wrong options here. Now, what are the cons of choosing Cadet Pilot Program? The biggest downside of Cadet Pilot Program is it's very expensive. On an average, Cadet Pilot Programs cost 1 crore rupees, cheapest ones about 90 lakhs all the way up to 1.15 crore in today's date for any CPP. And yes, I agree, it's a huge amount of money and not a lot of people can afford it. Let me mention that this LOI means that airline intends to hire you subject to once your training is completed according to their standards, you pass all test exam checks within specific number of attempts, the airline is operational, my heart goes out to all the jet airway cadets. I wish them all a good luck as there are rumors of jet airways reopening. If the cadet deviates from the contract, he, she, could get terminated from the program. The next downside is you need to limit your options to a particular airline or aircraft. Once you get selected by the airline, you pretty much can change until you serve your contract. You don't have control over your training, meaning when you should go for your training or type training etc. Where should you do it from all these decisions are taken by the airline. Competition is there. Selection criteria is stringent. Not everyone gets through it. Matter of fact, less than 5% of the applicants get selected. You will have to put in efforts to prepare for selection process. You will have to give psychrometry tests, assessments, maths and physics exam, case examination, group discussion, personal interview, etc. Pro tip. Spend time on personal development if you are willing to choose this option. Plan well financially in advance. The training can sometimes take longer than anticipated due to uncontrollable circumstances. But bro, what about job guarantee? Speaking of job guarantee, no, there is no job guarantee. It's a potential job offer. 
your only guarantee is you yourself you have to prove yourself throughout your training that you are worthy of being part of the airline let's list down advantages of conventional pathway let's talk money for a moment because yes it does matter conventional pathway would roughly cost you under 50 lakh and 10 to 15 lakhs for type rating you know what interest you get on 50 lakh it's 25000 rupees per month you're welcome meaning you end up saving 40 to 50 lakhs yes you heard it right you save 40 to 50 lakhs by opting for this option if you choose the right flight school the same quality of training is provided to you you get the same license as a cadet pilot which is cpl you have freedom to apply for different airlines charters flight schools etc I personally know a few flight schools in Florida that have great tech record of training students. My friends have flown from these flight schools and they are airline pilots now. Matter of fact, cadet pilot program was launched by airlines in past 10 years. Before that, conventional pathway was the only way to become a pilot. Now let's speak about what are the disadvantages of conventional pathway. After completion of your training in conventional pathway, once you receive your license, you could be lucky to have an opportunity immediately or it could take few years. I don't want to create any false hope for you. Honestly, I know few friends that got a job within a few months of getting their CPL and then there are some of them that continued to prepare for the opportunity for about 5 years. It could take some time depending on the situation of aviation industry when you finish. There will be competition for sure. Whether you succeed in this or not solely depends on your efforts and preparedness for the opportunity. You have to do all the research in finding the right flight school yourself. When choosing a flight school, you have to consider points like number of aircraft the flight school has, what is the student instructor aircraft ratio, how stable financially as the flight school how long has it been into the business how well they maintain their aircraft what is their training quality sounds overwhelming don't worry about it what am i here for i am currently doing research on one great flight school my friends have flown from this one they are airline pilots now whenever we discuss flight training experiences they speak highly of this flight school I will be making a separate video for this real soon. As I have done my flight training in the United States, I would not go anywhere else. I wanna know more about you. Comment down below which country you wanna do your flight training from. Beware of fraudsters. For CPL 50 lakh rupees and I would recommend not paying more than that and selecting the right flight school. Always remember if it is too good to be true. it is probably a fraud oftentimes than not i hear people saying that in thailand or some other country there are flight schools offering training and 20 lakh rupees should i do it let me tell you that flight training cannot happen at that cost considering the fuel prices it's not possible anywhere in the world they are probably wrongfully logging us or whatnot i don't want to get there now it's a whole different topic just be wise and don't fall for a scam or land in a wrong flight school so whether you should do your training by conventional or cadet pilot program ultimately the choice is yours to make in cadet you are potentially recruited before your training in conventional you are eligible to apply for job offer after you get your cpl if you have the time, money and eligibility for credit credit program, go for it. If not, conventional pathway is good too. Ultimately, you will succeed in either of this if you put in right amount of efforts towards it and don't give up. To sum this all up, this is what I have to say. Like any other profession, doctors, engineers, lawyers, nobody gets a job guarantee when they start their education. They commit to that profession, prove themselves until they become successful. It takes years of efforts. Relatively, career progression is faster in pilot career. Having said that, if you are getting into pilot career, just commit to it. Take responsibility of your success. Make sure to put in so much work into your career that there is no room for failure. Whether cadet or conventional, they both require your commitment. 
This applies only to the ones who are committed to becoming a pilot. If you want to start your pilot training, start already. By the time you finish your training, aviation would have recovered. You don't have to wait for anything. Just get yourself ready for the next opportunity. Aviation in India was strong before the pandemic and I would like to believe that it will bounce back stronger after recovery. With that said, thank you for watching. We'll be coming up with some exciting content soon. So stay tuned.